the sperm swimming, all right? For fertilization to do what? For fertilization to occur, all right? Ovulation. That's exactly what we are going to look at or talk about today. As a woman, you may have experienced this, but uh, maybe you know the signs or you basically don't know the signs, right? So I'm going to drop all the contraceptive methods that I have right there because again, ovulation in a way is related to pregnancy and not pregnant or rather when you want to get pregnant or you don't want to get pregnant. So let me put my egg here. I know for some of you, you've already uh, you've already peeped here. So what exactly is ovulation? So as you can see here, so ovulation is the release of a mature egg from the ovary, all right? And as you can see my diagram right here, or rather this particular dummy that I have right here. So of course, this one is the fallopian tube right here and this other ovary, or rather this is the fallopian tube and this is the ovary. So uh, the, by the release of an egg, for example, this is the woman releasing a mature egg. So basically this way, and that is what we call what? Ovulation, all right? So once again, it is the release of a mature egg from the ovary all right and what are some of the signs of ovulation or as a woman how do you know that you are ovulating all right so all right back let us look at you we've already said that there, it's the release of a mature egg from the ovary all right so let us just go to uh our calendar right here let me just show you when you're talking of the release of an egg in your menstrual cycle when ex exactly does this happen all right so let's say that you're beginning your period right here all right my mark pen so let's say that this is the first day and you're beginning your period right here all right so you count 14 days from the day you start your periods all right so one two three four five you go like that uh 12 13 14 and that's why i circled this 14 therefore for a 28 day cycle all right you ovulate on your 14th day all right so that is what we mean when we say what when we say ovulation all right now let us go to some of the signs of ovulation when do you know as a woman that you are ovulating all right so number one there is changes in cervical mucus all right as we know uh, ladies we do release what are the cervical mucus and therefore during uh, the ovulation there is some changes in the cervical mucus and i'll just let you know how the mucus looks like all right the other a sign of course it's a, a pelvic pain of course you'll start feeling a little bit of pain at the at the pelvic we are talking about this particular area right here so there'll be uh, some pain right there all right then there is a slight rise in body temperature like uh, you're too hot or super super hot all right that is another uh what another sign now let us go back to the changes in a cervical mucus as a woman you need to know how your mucus looks like during the cycle all right it shows in a way it tells you a lot all right about uh, your health as a woman and most importantly that is uh, your sexual and reproductive health all right so as you can see right here as i've written right the mucus during ovulation is clear it's stretchy and it's also slippery all right once again it's clear stretchy or slippery and in most cases let me just put uh, this one right here and uh take my egg all right so in most cases they say that when you're ovulating your mucus or the cervical mucus is a uh, egg white or it looks like an egg white so let me just show you how exactly it looks like all right so i'm going to break you see this is exactly how the cervical mucus looks like you can see that this you can see that stretchy we said stretchy you can see exactly this way when you're ovulating this is how the cervical mucus looks like and they are saying that it is clear stretchy slippery like the egg white we are talking about this not the yolk 
the yellow yolk. No, we are talking about this particular one, all right? And and we've seen that it, it is a clear, stretchy, and slippery. And it has those characteristics, or that's how it looks like, because it assists the sperm, all right, in terms of the sperm swimming, all right, for fertilization to do what? For fertilization to occur, all right? So it is clear, stretchy, and slippery for the sperm, that is uh, the sperm that comes from the man, all right, for it to do what? To swim, all right? and for fertilization to occur and that's why in case you want to get pregnant during your ovulation is the best time all right and again for ladies if you do not want to get pregnant this is the time that you are not supposed to have unprotected sex all right and basically let me just show you this all right so the mucus is clear stretchy slippery for sperms to swim easily hence fertilization just the way you've seen all right so basically today we were looking at uh, ovulation and i hope that uh, you've been able to learn something about ovulation so if you've been able to learn please feel free to share this particular video feel free to comment and of course feel free to like by sharing you're going to assist other women girls and of course men and boys to learn more about what about ovulation and of course thank you so much for watching